Hey, it's Chris, and welcome to the first video on my new channel. Some of you may know me from my Coffee Centralized channel, which I will leave a link to in the description down below for those who aren't. In today's video, I'm showing you the making of my $600 coffee-themed keyboard build. Alright, so first let's take that other keyboard out of the way and bring in the AV3 by Ivy Works. This keyboard cost a total of $255 and came with this nice neoprene sleeve and in that front pocket we've also got our authenticity card, mine is number 154. Taking it out of the bag, we can now see the stacked acrylic case design combined with the unique three layers of stainless steel along the back, all being held together with black stainless steel hardware. The back of the board's got a nice little detail as well with the Ivy Works logo. Included with the kit, we've also got some rubber bum bonds, extra screws and hex key, a microfiber cloth, and some Duroc V2 stabs, which came in as a $25 add-on. And moving on, we've got the FR4 plate, again featuring that prominent Ivy Works logo embossed, and because this is a gasket mount, we've also got the gaskets. Next up, we've got the PCB foam with optional removable alphas, and finally, the hot swap PCB itself, which yet again features that Ivy Works logo and an AV3 type. For the stabs, I'm going to be wholly modding and lubing them, and if you don't know what that is, you basically get a tiny, tiny, tiny strip of fabric band-aid, and you want to get the stem of the stab and sort of wrap the little ramp inside it like this. So it definitely takes a lot of time and effort, but I think the results are worth it. And at first it'll feel a little bit mushy, but after some time it'll definitely smooth itself out. For my keyboard builds, I also like to go a little bit heavier on the lube with my stabilizers, and here I'm using Crytox 205 Grade Zero. In the past I've used dielectric grease on the wires, but nowadays I also use Crytox 205 G Zero on them as well. After that, I reassembled the stabs and mounted them onto the PCB and also used these included washers under the screws. Once that part was done, I took a break, made a cup of coffee, and came back to finish assembling this keyboard. Today, I'm brewing a flat white with the Black Apple Espresso from Airship Coffee Roasters. With the caffeine consumption part out of the way, let's mount the gaskets to the FR4 plate. I chose FR4 here because I love the way linear switches sound on them, and I feel like it's one of the best plate materials to get a deep, thock sound. Installing the gaskets is simple, just peel and stick, but be careful not to stretch them too much if you need to remove and realign them. Once that part was done, I gave everything a good clean with the microfiber cloth before moving on to the next step. Next up, we have to disassemble the main case itself, which is easy enough to do with the included black hex key. After that, it was as simple as removing all the paper backings on the acrylic layers and reassembling. Now, here you don't want to do what I did, and I would very highly suggest you install your switches before putting the PCB into its place. If you don't, you'll end up with a PCB that kind of gets separated from the plate and makes it hard to install the switches without disassembling the entire case again. So I actually had to then go back and disassemble the case, install the switches, and then reassemble. I also ordered the matching wrist rest as an $80 add-on, which I absolutely love. It again features the Ivy Works logo and has frosted acrylic, clear acrylic, and stainless steel layers matching the keyboard. For the switches, I actually ordered a sampler of some high-end linear Franken switches, which is taking its time getting to me, so for now I've got a few cream packa switches on the mods, alpacas on the alphas, holy pandas on the arrow keys, and some silent boba switches on just about everything else to fill the board. I'll post some additional sound test videos in the future when I decide on which linear Franklin switch to go with. Based on some other videos I've seen, I'm leaning towards milky cream packas or black cherry pies. Finally, to finish the case, I went with the very popular GMK Cafe, which I absolutely love with the coffee bean and coffee cup accent keycaps. So here's the sound test of the AV3 by Ivy Works with an assortment of switches.
All right, and that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next one.